वेलकम टू यश संपत एजुकेटर हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज राशि एंड आई वेलकम टू यू ऑल टू दिस वीकली करंट अफेयर सीरीज व्हिच इज फॉर द फोर्थ वीक ऑफ फरवरी 2023 सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स गो थ्रू द हेडलाइंस फर्स्ट सेंट्रल एक्साइज डे 2023 ऑब्जर्वड ऑन 24th फरवरी नेशनल साइंस डे 2023 सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन 28th फरवरी Tilottama Sen won bronze medal in women's 10 meter air rifle at ISSF World Cup. Rudrangsh Patel won gold in 10 meter air rifle at ISSF World Cup 2023. SS Raja Mauli's RRR wins best international film award at HCA. PM Modi inaugurates Barisu Kannada Dim Dimawa Festival. 7 year old prince from Bhutan becomes first digital citizen of the country. India Guyana set to impact on oil and gas sector. In a first Indian submarine INS Sindhu Kesari docks in Indonesia. India's indigenous LCA Tejas lands in UAE to take part in its first ever foreign air exercise. India's first hybrid rocket launched in Chengalpattu. Meta launches LLA MA model a research tool more potent than Open AI's GPT-3. And now let's discuss all these news in details. So our first news is from important day section. February 24 is designated as Central Excise Day each year to recognize and honor the efforts of the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs. CBIC's main duty is to stop manufactured goods from being tampered with. To educate the public about the importance of paying taxes and following customs regulations, the agency sponsors a number of programs and events. CBIC also launches brand new advertising on this day in all of its offices across India. Next is Chandrasekhar Venkata Raman, an Indian scientist and surgeon, is honored on National Science Day for inventing the Raman effect. It is observed annually to honor the importance of science and to serve as a reminder of the impact it has had on society. The event this year bears the subject Global Science for Global Health in recognition of India's G20 leadership. The Indian government established February 28th as National Science Day in 1986 under the leadership of Rajiv Gandhi. Now the next news is from sports section. At the ISSF World Cup 2023 in Cairo, Egypt, Indian youngster Tilottama Sen took home the bronze medal in the women's 10m air rifle event. After finishing the top 8 ranking round with a score of 262, the 14-year-old Tilottama Sen of India took home the second bronze medal and placed 5th overall. She narrowly missed out on the gold medal match by 0.1 points. Sionet McIntosh of Great Britain took home the gold medal and Olympic champion Nina Christian of Switzerland took home the silver. Next is Rudrangsh Bala Saheb Patel of India won the ISSF World Cup 2023 in Cairo with a score of 16-8 over Germany's Maximilian Ulbricht. Patel qualified for the ranking round by placing 7th in the qualification round. with 629.3 points and he won that round with 262 points to earn a match up against Ulbricht in the championship round Miran Marikic of Croatia took home the bronze Devyansh Singh Pamwar and Hriday Hazarika missed the cut for the ranking rounds Now our next news is from award and honors RRR directed by SS Raja Mauli won the Hollywood Critics Association Film Awards Best International Features Prize Raja Mauli the director of the movie and Ram Charan the actor proudly embraced the honor at the HCA Film Award it also took home three further prizes RRR on three HCA honors including best action film best stunts and best original music before taking home the best international film honors now our next news is from national section on february 25 2023 prime minister narendra modi opened the bari su kannada dim dimawa festival at delhi's tal katora stadium at the time prime minister modi spoke to the crowd the cultural event bari su kannada dim dimawa 
is being held to honor the history, customs and culture of Karnataka. The Prime Minister's goal of Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat is in sync with this. At the event which is being organized by Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, hundreds of artists will get the chance to present Karnataka's cultural legacy through dance, music, drama and poetry. Now our next news is from international section. A step has been taken by Bhutan to modernize its digital infrastructure. A first ever digital citizen has just been discovered in the Himalayan country. The mobile wallet for the Bhutan national digital identity, Your Majesty Jigme Namgyal Wangchuk, the Gelse or Prince, is now Bhutan's first digital citizen. The system in question uses a state of the art technology to give citizens secure verified credentials that can serve as identification proof. Next is the two nations have decided to work together in the oil and gas industry which will involve long term purchases of petroleum from Guyana and investments in the upstream industry there. President Muhammad Irfan Ali of Guyana and Oil Minister Hardeep Singh Puri met. Now our next news is from defense section. INS Sindhu Kesari, an Indian Navy conventional submarine of the Kilo class, made its first docking in Jakarta, Indonesia as part of the region's growing military cooperation. The OTR in Jakarta, which is more than 2,000 nautical miles from the submarine arms home base in Vishakhapatnam, greatly increases the operational reach of the submarine arm in the vicinity of important maritime lanes and the strategically important Malacca Strait. Indonesia has previously allowed Indian naval ships access to its Sabang port for operational turnaround. Next is Operation Desert Flag Air, an international multilateral air exercise will feature India's homegrown Tejas light combat aircraft for the first time, highlighting India's growing attempts to promote the jet on the international scene. Now the next news is from Science and Technology section. India's first hybrid sounding rocket by private players was successfully launched from Pattipulam village in the Chengalpattu district of Tamil Nadu. Martin Foundation in association with Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam International Foundation and Space Zone India launched the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Satellite Launch Vehicle Mission 2023. Next is Mark Zuckerberg, a co-founder of Facebook, informed academics of Meta Platform's upcoming release of the Llama Big Language Model, that is Large Language Model Meta AI. The model created by Meta's fundamental AI research team is meant to help scientists and engineers explore the uses and capabilities of AI, such as query processing and document summarization. Lama, a collection of fundamental language models with parameters ranging from 7B to 65B, is nearly 10 times smaller than OpenAI's GPT-3 175B, and Lama 65B is equivalent to DeepMind's Chinchilla 70B and Google's Palm 540B. So friends, that's all from this series. Thank you.